You have probably heard about Historic by now. They are doing a great job for a ton of bloggers when it comes to ads and monetization of your content. I'm running Historic ads on four of my websites and I recently sold two websites that were also primarily monetized with Historic ads. In this video I'll show you exactly how I set up the ads to make sure that they earn as much revenue as possible. So ads used to be total crap. When you would put AdSense on a website several years ago, you would probably make around $5 per thousand page views. So when you do those numbers, it doesn't really add up. It doesn't make any sense. But today I'm seeing numbers closer to $25 per thousand page views and sometimes much more than that. So the reason why ads are becoming increasingly popular among bloggers is because we see some new companies like Ezoic who are doing what we call programmatic ads. So when you load a website with these type of ads, you click yes to a little pop up and then you allow cookies, but you're also allowing the ad network to see the browser history on the computer you're using. That means they will do a much better job of matching the right ads with the right users. So let's say you're reading an article about how to change a light bulb. In the old days, you would probably see advertising from Philips Hue or other types of ads related to light bulbs. But today, in the age of programmatic ads, you can actually tailor the ads to each user. So if you have been looking for basketballs, you'll probably see ads for basketballs or something related to that. On top of that, ad prices and ad revenue has been rising year on year for many years now. So more and more companies are putting a bigger portion of their total marketing budget into online marketing, which is great news for bloggers and publishers like you and I. One of the main reasons why I like Ezoic so much is because you can actually get in as soon as you have around 10,000 page views per month on your website. Most of the other premium ad networks will not take you on unless you have 30,000 or maybe 100,000 page views. Now let's move over to my screen and see how we set up these ads. All right, so this is what it looks like when you log into your Ezoic dashboard. So the first thing you should do is to go to settings and just make sure that your site is integrated. You can do it with a WordPress plugin, you can do it with name servers, or you can do it with Cloudflare if you're using that service. And then you should go down here and choose whether you want a balanced mode, revenue focused, user experience focused, or some custom settings. I usually just go with balanced mode, which means that the user will see a normal amount of ads on the website. Next up, go to the monetization part up here and go down to find native ad units. I usually turn these on and you can choose here as you can see if you want to show PG or PG 13 content. So what this basically does is it will allow Ezoic to show ads for content on other people's websites. You will typically see this on big news sites and stuff like that. At the very bottom there will be some display ads and sometimes text links to content on other people's websites. Here you can also set a maximum number of ads per page. You can do some ad restrictions. What I usually do, I go down to this ad categories. I block ads about black magic, gambling, get rich quick and so on. And of course, if you want to totally maximize your profit, you should take all these. But I just don't want to expose my audience to that kind of stuff because I'm totally not into gambling and get rich quick schemes and so on. But you have the option here to do that. And there's also a lot of other categories here, as you can see, that you can either tick on or tick off. When you have done all this, it's time to take a look at where the ads will actually display on your site. And in the Zoic language, this is called ad placeholders. So let's head over to my website here. It's Sewing Machine Talk, one of my websites. I have installed a browser extension here for Chrome that's called Ezoic Ad Tester. As soon as you do that, you can see here exactly where the ad units can be displayed. And if we take this one, for example, here, you can click it, you can click edit, and then you can see if it's adaptive in sizing and if it could be shown on desktop and tablet and so on, you will typically set specific ad units for mobile. So this one is for desktop and tablets because they're quite similar often in size and so on. And then you can go here and you can select what type of sizes they should be. So since this ad is shown out here in the sidebar, it's supposed to be what we call a skyscraper format, which basically just means that it's taller than it's wide. 
tick all those that make sense according to the width of your site. Other than that, you can go down here and you can choose to align the ads. I usually set it to center and you can also choose that you can't float and there's some margin and stuff here. So it's basically things that will make it work perfectly with your specific layout. So now we've seen how to tailor one specific ad placeholder. But the thing you need to understand here is that the Isoic engine is doing some crazy ninja stuff. So you need to add basically as many placeholders as possible because this will give the machine learning algorithms enough data to work with in order to maximize the revenue. And the really cool thing here is that two different persons coming to your website will see a different amount of ads and they will also see different ads of course. They will also see different formats because Isoic is being used on a ton of websites. So as soon as Isoic recognize somebody, they will already know how many ads they should show and what ads would typically work well with this person. I usually have my key account help me do this. And this is also because I'm a premium user with Isoic. And that's the last thing I wanna show you. When you go in here, there's a premium feature that you should definitely click and apply to. So this premium program is something that you have to get accepted into. So as you can see here, it adds quite a lot of extra revenue. The reason why they have this program, as I understand it, is because when you join premium, Isoic knows that they will at least have you on their platform for one month. You can also sign up for a year and that would save you a lot of money. So it costs a little bit to join the premium part, but the extra amount of revenue you will earn after joining always makes up for that plus some. And there's also other added benefits, like I got a super cool key account manager after signing up for premium, and she helps me set up the ads on all my websites. She makes sure that I have all the placeholders and all the technology I need in order to maximize my profit. There's some sort of premium thing where you can test it for a while just to see the numbers before you commit to anything. And you can always choose how much you want the Azoic guys to be on board with this or if you want to control everything yourself. I definitely recommend that you let the Azoic guys guide you, especially if this is the first time you're setting up ads on a site with Azoic. Because they know exactly what works of course and they've been doing this hundreds if not thousands of times. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and what your experiences are with the Zoic and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. See you next time.